Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jimmy and today we're going to take a look at the top eight brand new features that's a part of Android 14 QPR, which is the quarterly platform release. So this one is beta one. All of these features that you're going to see in today's video will be a part of the feature drop that'll be happening in the month of December. Now I will have to say that this QPR is one of those things that's going to make you actually open and use your Pixel Fold. I know most of you is using this large, small phone, completely folded 90 to 95% of the time, but with this update, you may actually see yourself opening it just a little bit more. Now, the first feature that we'll cover today is a very big one when it comes down to the Pixel Fold, and it's probably one of the main reasons why people don't like to open it up, and it's because when you open up about 95% of applications, they all look like this. They're all basically a half of a screen or a third of a screen. You have to tap on either the left-hand side or right hand side to move it around you know i kind of get it this is kind of how the aspect ratio was kind of built anyways it's kind of the same size as any other candy bar shaped device but when it comes down to the samsung galaxy z fold 5 fold 4 the fold 3 the fold 2 and even the fold 1 every single application from the play store and the samsung store was all perfect when it came down to fitting the screen so what you're able to do now with this latest update the qpr1 beta 1 you are able to go inside of your apps inside of settings and as you scroll on down, you're gonna see this option here for aspect ratio, and you're able to change either the suggested apps or even all of the applications. So you can go to every single and any application on your phone and you can change the size. So if we just keep it as the suggested applications, when you scroll down, you can see Instagram sitting right here and you can actually make it a full screen. You can also do half screen, or you can do a four by three. So if you want it to be a little bit larger, but you didn't need the entire real estate of the phone to be that application, you can do four by three if you would like. So let's say that we now go back over inside of Instagram, and now you're gonna see that it is a full entire experience. So you can swipe anywhere on the left side, on the right hand side, in the middle, anything and everything. You have everything along the bottom and everything along the top that you're now able to fully work with and play with. And so yeah, you can go through, you can go on uh, YouTube, you can go inside of your Twitter, you can go inside of Instagram, you can go into anything and everything, and you now can finally change the aspect ratio, which I think is the biggest deal breaker when it comes down to actually opening up this device. So again, any application that you would like to kind of change, uh, most of them are all set to app default, and most of them were defaulted into having a third or a half of the screen there. But yes, you can go through every and all of them, and you can turn it into a full screen experience. Now, next up, let's go inside of the display settings, because inside of display, there's a really cool thing that you're now able to do, which all the other flips and the folds are able to, which is continue on outer display. So basically, when you close or you fold or flip your device shut, you're now able to still continue using that application on the cover screen. So this one wasn't there from before and basically it was set to never, which meant if you're watching YouTube, playing a game, listening to music, whatever you were doing, if you folded your fold shut, the screen on the outer screen will just turn black and it's just locked and you just put it in your pocket. It basically means if you shut it, you're done. But now you can have this option here for only games, videos, and more. So the front display will turn on for the apps that stop your screen going idle and then for always. So no matter what you're doing, if it's a social media application, game, you know, music, videos, then it's always going to stay on. So originally, if you went inside of YouTube and you were watching a video, what would happen is once you shut it, it would actually just turn off the front display because you're just basically done. So now it'll actually continue the video on the front display. So this way you can still actually use it. And maybe if you are done, then you can finally hit that power button. So it's just a way that you are able to uh, continue any application on the cover screen when you shut the device. Now, the only issue with this is that it doesn't go both ways. Basically, once you shut it, you, it's going to be able to play, but when you open it back up, it just goes to the home screen. So if we shut it, we're still gonna be able to watch this video. And then let's see that we open this back up. It's gonna go right back over into the home screen. So it's not a continuous thing where you open and shut, uh, but it is one of those things that at least now you have the settings to have the outer screen stay on and visible, still doing what you're doing, once you shut the device. Now this next one is also very cool. This is what we've been waiting for, for a smartphone to do for quite some time. And that is having your smartphone be the webcam. So when you plug your smartphone in now with Android 14, with this QPR update that everybody will see in the month of December, once you plug your phone into the computer, you have an option to turn on webcam. So this way you can just have your phone sitting on a tripod. You can either have it as 1X, 
2x zoom you can use it with the front facing camera or the rear facing camera so this way you can have some high quality webcam footage just off of your phone itself so you wouldn't have to go off and buy a separate or brand new webcam. Feature number four is another one that's very helpful and beneficial. It gives you your battery information, the manufacture date of the battery, and your cycle count. So in this way, you'd be able to know how many times you have fully cycled through your battery, which means you put your phone all the way up to 100% as it's charging. So over here on the Pixel 6a, you can see my cycle count is at 65, which means if you only charge it up to 98 or 99%, you unplug it, you didn't do the full cycle cycle, which is why a lot of people, they unplug at about 85 or 90% so they don't go through the entire cycle. Now, how you're able to get into it is when you go inside your settings, you go into about phone and then inside of about phone, you can see it right here, battery information. And then this is where you can see everything. Now, this one right here was manufacture date of May, uh, May 3rd and my cycle count is 23. Now I will have to admit, I haven't used my Pixel Fold as my secondary device for quite some time. I have been using the Pixel 7 Pro because that was the one that was running on Android 14 for the past couple months. But for the first 30 days I had this thing, this one was basically my secondary device for that whole entire time. So it's pretty fun that you can see the manufacture date as well as the cycle count. Feature number five is a little particle effect that happens when you switch your wallpaper or when you change your little palette. So the color palette you can see here, it is changing. You see those little particles on the screen and it'll also do it as you're switching up your wallpaper. So whichever wallpaper you go with, you're going to have a cool little particle effect that will happen as you are making those changes. And another thing that I also want to show off is a brand new clock. So this one is called Metro Clock and this one looks pretty cool when it comes down over into pretty much any of these two devices. So they both look really good. This is what it looks like on a regular candy bar device and this is what it looks like over on the Pixel Fold. So how you're able to set up that Metro Clock is you just want to go and of your settings, scroll on down to where you see wallpaper and style, and then where you see your little wallpapers here, this is where you swipe left and right to see that brand new clock. And then through here, you're able to change how you want it to look with the colors, with your different color palette. And then as you go through all of these ones, you can also change your wallpaper to make it look different. And again, you'll also have all that little particle effect happening as you make all of these really cool changes. So I'm going to dig this one right here, and all it's going to look like is like this. So I think it looks really good. It really pops out of the screen. So you got a brand new clock face. Feature number seven is one that's built inside of the Pixel Launcher. Now inside of the Pixel Launcher, one of the things you can now actually do is you can go through and it can show you suggestions before searching. So you'll be able to see suggestions before you search for anything that is based on your recent activity. So it can show contacts, settings, and more based again on that recent activity. And then when you go through here, you can just see everything else that you can either toggle on, you can toggle off, you got the web search, uh, you also have people, you have the Google Play Store, then the web search preferences, which is just basically going through your settings of the Google app. Now there's another thing I also wanna show you. So before, once we got into that little preferences area, we tapped over here on those three little dots, well, the other thing that you do have that is brand new is going to be this little settings wheel on the very bottom right hand side. So if you don't want to tap on the preferences on the top right, if this is a little bit easier for you, just tap that little settings wheel and it takes you right over back inside of your search preferences. Now, feature number eight, I left for last because I can't really show you just yet. We were able to find it in the change log somewhere through the strings, but it's not a physical feature that we can take a look at. And that is one that is called repair mode. Now, repair mode is very similar to Samsung's maintenance mode, which means if you take your phone into a service shop to get work done, you put it into repair mode. And it's basically going to keep your phone unlocked with all of the applications basically not showing up. They're grayed out. It's almost as if they weren't even there. Nobody can look at anything that is logged into, signed into. There's no pins, no passwords, nothing. So they can't get into your Facebook or your Instagram or your images. All the images are basically locked away as well, too. It's just a little mode you can get into that they can make all the changes and fixes without going through your personal information, data, and content. So that is the top eight brand new features that's a part of the upcoming feature drop that's happening during the month of December for all of the Pixel devices. Now, this one again is called the quarterly platform release. This is the QPR1 beta one. And anytime that there is another update, I'll come through and I'll share everything else that is brand new with it. So hopefully you guys appreciated this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.